Okay, so it's not as bad as I let on. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ponery Tinkers. And yes, we're working on my 2016 Ram Eco Diesel. And as you can see, I have a check engine light. Yeah, I sure do. But not to worry, this is actually gonna be a pretty easy video. I'm gonna use my scan tool here. I'm gonna show you what code I get. I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it. So she's reading away. No. Engine control module, read codes, stored codes. There. PO128, coolant thermostat. Temperature below thermostat regulating temperature. What does this mean for an eco diesel? Well, it means my thermostat is stuck slightly open, which is better than it being stuck closed, if I'm perfectly honest. And that's the only code in the system. The other ones, I think, tie to this. So, how do we go about fixing this? It's actually not that bad. So, what we gotta do, and I've already taken the liberty of doing this, Let's see, let's unplug this over here. Come back out here and I'll show you what's going on. So I've taken the liberty of already draining the radiator. I'll show you how to do it here in a sec. But the nice thing is, once you get all the engine covers off, which mine never came with one, uh, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there, like nice and easy. Well, sort of. There's one bolt down there, that little eight millimeter right there, and that little eight millimeter right there. That might prove to be a bit of a challenge, but I've got some wobbles in my pocket, and essentially, all we're gonna have to do, pull that clamp off, wiggle the hose off, take the two bolts out, and stand by. Sorry. We will replace it with this shiny new one. Now, I read some horror stories that some of you guys out in Canada pay $300 for this thing. And I jumped on uh, most of my local sources and they're like 100 and something to $200, which is insane. I got this guy shipped to my door, brand new, to $21. Yeah, so it looks to be the right size and shape and it's oriented correctly, so this should work. And what I'll do is I'll pull the old one out and I'll give you a still shot to compare the difference between this plunger and the one I'm about to take out because I suspect it is stuck partially open. The reason I know this is because the onboard computer typically reads at around 180 to 190 degrees while I'm driving and this thermostat's supposed to be fully open and working at 208 if I'm not mistaken. They like these engines to run pretty warm for whatever reason combustion, Johnny Polar Bear, you name your platitude, that's probably why. So, uh, let me show you the draining the radiator bit. I already did it, but I'm just going to give you a still shot. What I can tell you from up here is the drain is on the driver's side. Uh, oh, it's underneath that pipe over there. If you see, well, you're not gonna see. All right, it's gonna be a little shaky cam work because I'm doing this one-handed. Let's get underneath and take a look right quick. I got the truck in what they call entry and exit mode because I have air ride because I thought I would need it to climb over the top. So it's right here on the driver's side and I used a 3.8 hex head socket that goes inside that bleeder nut and you only gotta crank it, not even really 180 degrees, and it'll open. And then I just attach some line here, to here, into this bottle here, and drained about a gallon. So hopefully the block is drained behind the thermostat and the radiator's drained above the thermostat. Once you drain out a gallon, tighten that back up, which I already did, and that's it, really. So. Let me get the old one out and I'll do a couple of still shots and show you the new one. But that should more or less be the whole job. Sit tight.
Okay, now we're back inside. Uh, there's only one note that I had about reinstallation. The outer bolt is kind of hard to get to because of fuel lines. Be very patient with it, otherwise you might cross-thread it and ruin it. So be very, very patient when you put that bolt in. Now, we're at the engine side of this again, so let's go back to my diagnostic tool. Key is in the on position, by the way. She will read. There we go. And then, say no. Engine computer. And erase codes. Yes. Erase done. Now what I should be able to do is turn the key. And start it, and that light should go away. And then I gotta rush up to the front and start adding coolant. These are what's known as a, or the bottle up there is known as a degas bottle. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna keep topping it off and let the engine warm up and take everything I took out and put it right back in and then top off accordingly. Uh, let's get started. And the light's off. All right, so next is filling up the coolant. number of Samuel L's this job is, I would rate it at the most a two, just because of draining the radiator and getting to that one outside bolt. But other than that, two Samuel L job. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I want to thank you for watching. Maybe hit like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Pretty easy job. Later. Boy does have good hands. Good hands. Bad taste in car. Mother.